stand by with logos. Lose legal and cue logo sequence. So everyone puts their keys in a bowl and then you take someone else's key and then you sleep with whoever. Oh, neat! It's like a slumber party. Well, hopefully there won't be much slumbering. Start of game activation is live and ready. We are on. Here on the Dow Jones dropped about 11% today, leaving it at about 9,542. To be completely honest, I have no idea what that Look, means. Look, Mommy, there's a large creature eating me biscuit. Wow, kid, your breakfast tastes like gravel. I would fancy something tasty. Hey, try some of these. Mm, scrumptious nummies with meat. Uh, yeah, we got a hot one. Everybody at the ready. And 30 seconds, people. Hey, I'm Donnie. Would you, you do? I'd be happy to pleasure you. Many questions will prevail themselves upon you. You need to wingle out the correct choice and impress the boutonniere next to it. Press either up, left, right, or down on your plus control pad. There will be a timer counting down, so the more harried your actions, the more money you'll get. Or revanquish. Okay, you're ready on set. Player one, you failed to enter your John Hank clock. You're gonna be chum. For both being my friend and feeding the fishes. Ten seconds. Catch you on the flap side. And go spring check. Six. Five. Go to plan. Four. Three. Seven. W E O B. The Asylum. Hello, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I'm making thousands of dollars a week stuffing envelopes at home. Single player game I see. Yeah, thanks for making us go through all the effort. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by Maggot World, your one stop maggot superstore. Now selling groceries. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> and we're off. <laughs> First, snakes on a vacation. If Samuel L. Jackson were having a bad camping trip in the Snake River Plain, what might he say? I'm sick of this mother Snake River Plain in mother Idaho. I'm sick of this mother Snake River Plain in mother Colorado. I'm sick of this. The Snake River Plain is a geologic feature that stretches across Idaho and into Wyoming. <laughs> Hollywood loves putting giant snakes into movies, like Snakes on a Plane, or Anaconda, or Raiders of the Lost Ark, or the final scene of Boogie Nights. Try this on for size. Board games. It's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. And I'm adding a thousand bucks for a correct answer on this one. Arrange these board games based on the number of spaces on their boards from fewest spaces to most spaces. Monopoly, shoots and ladders, clue. Monopoly, shoots and ladders, clue. Monopoly, clue, shoots and ladders, shoots. Well, it's clear there's no monopoly on stupidity. Were you thinking of this one? There are 40 spaces on a Monopoly board, 100 spaces on a Chutes and Ladders board, and depending on which version of Clue you have, there is some number of spaces that's well over 100. And counting the number of spaces in board games is slightly more fun than actually playing Monopoly. Here's a good one. The Frog Prince Diaries. If the Frog Prince implemented the principles in Machiavelli's treatise, The Prince, what would be his first approach in acquiring power? Orchestrate a war to get a kiss? Employ diplomatic tactics to get a kiss? Rely on laws to get a kiss? Or blackmail girls to get a kiss? Ew. That answer had warts. Next time, try this. Machiavelli believed that in order to create a strong state, a prince must first have a fundamentally strong military. This was outlined further in Machiavelli's best-selling advice book, He's Just Not That Into You, but by using deceitful political tactics, you will rise in power and favor. Everybody fight Trump! Everybody fight Trump! Hey! Say hello to... Fancy White House Grub! And it's time for a dis or dat! 
I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's a 2010 White House Correspondents' Dinner Menu item, or a flavor of Fancy Feast cat food. If it's a White House menu item, press left on your plus control pad. If it's a Fancy Feast, press right on your plus control pad. Get one right and you'll be the commander in chief with 300 bucks. Get one wrong and you'll lose one of your nine lives and 300 bucks. And you've only got 30 seconds. It's time for the ultimate taste test. Okay, let's move. Flaked salmon and minced turkey, roasted halibut, savory salmon, general crab, sliced beef and chip, crusted petite. Fries. Somebody loves their cat. Fancy Feast was also the only thing Dick Cheney ever ate in his tenure. Where's the bomb girl? Introduce, ouch, right in the Tchaikovsky's. In a production of The Nutcracker, which of these ballet moves would be most likely to crack the Nutcracker's nuts? Hadesha, pirouette, grand batma, or first position? First position is just standing in place, so the Nutcracker would have to have some bona fide low hangers to get cracked by a first position. <laughs> Ready for this? A grand bop ma is when one leg is kept straight and lifted as high as possible in the air. A sure hazard for any male ballet dancer's unprotected walnuts. Also sure to be the best part of the ballet. That's all we got for round one. And you're doing pretty well, probably because there's no competition. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. And don't forget, our wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting to be picked. Let's get back to the action. Next, Yarnography. Because it's the name of a clothes-making tool, how might a Jenny McCarthy spread be titled in a special clothed edition of Playboy? Yarning Jenny, sewing Jenny, swinging Jenny, or spinning Jenny? A spinning Jenny is a machine used for producing yarn or cotton. I was told to make a smarmy comment about yarn production, but I find it nearly impossible. Coming up next, Cast Away From Here. Because it's about being stranded alone on an island, which FedEx book would have given the most comfort to Tom Hanks' character in Cast Away? Hatchet, Lord of the Flies, The Island of Dr. Moreau, or Swiss Family Robinson? This would have worked. The other novels involve multiple characters on an island, but Hatchet is about a boy who's stranded on an island with only his thoughts and, well, a hatchet. And he starts talking to the hatchet, and then it sinks to the bottom of the ocean, and he cries, and that's when you realize the book's been going on for well over two hours, and it's getting kind of old. Lord of the Flies would be a bad choice for many reasons. But speaking of flies, you've just won some baby flies in the form of... A maggot farm from Maggot World. Because seriously, what makes ants think they're so damn special? This wrong answer of the game nets you a handsome 8,000 bucks. Yeah, you're welcome. Plucking chickens, picking out a mate. Oh. Guess I'll marry eight. Up next. OMG, I got my GED. Okay, so I finally decided to go back to school. Thanks to online courses, I'm ready to start my career in the exciting world of cryptozoology. Um, I think I want my money back. Which one of these classes would I need to take for my online degree in cryptozoology? Intro to mummies, contemporary house cats, Sasquatch 101, or dinosaurs of the world? Ah! <laughs> 
Let me show you something. In a cryptozoology class, I would be studying Sasquatch, the Loch Ness Monster, or any other creature whose existence is unproven. Just got the syllabus for my first cryptozoology class. Looks like my first semester will deal primarily with explaining and justifying getting a degree in cryptozoology. It's time for a dead freelance writer. Considering the subject matter he wrote about, which magazine would Roman author Ovid be best equipped to work for? Playboy, Rolling Stone, Us Weekly, or Mad? Yes, Ovid peppered his writing with terrible pun names like Julius Caesar and Boners the Ill Ead. Ah! Oh, honestly. Known for his erotic poetry, Ovid would fit in with Playboy. But obviously it doesn't make sense that Ovid would write for Playboy. Everyone knows he hasn't talked to Hugh Hefner since they were college roommates and had a falling out. Hold me, never let me go. And my Pucker up for antiquated antiques. In what year could Radio Shack have upgraded to Satellite Radio Shack? 1985, 1992, 1999, or 2004? Satellite radio is given a green light by the FCC in 1992. If you want to hang out for a few minutes, I can check and see if we have any in the back. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. $4,000 for a right answer, but you lose $4,000 if you're wrong. And one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I hate all three of you. Keep your friends close and your enemies in groups of three. Good luck. haiku for you, but since you only did about half as well as someone who would really deserve a personalized haiku, I'm only going to give you half the syllables, in no particular order. Small of wah, no spare vita, poop kala. You don't know Jack! That'll do it folks, what's going on Donnie? Hey, are you eagle to play another round? Do you have too many shelves? Don't know what to do with them? Well, now it's time to put your worries on the shelf. 
Introducing Shelf Shelves. Shelf Shelves are made exclusively for shelving shelves, and each Shelf Shelf shelves up to 12 shelves per shelf. That's a lot of shelves. Shelf Shelves saved my life. I really wanted to kill my shelf. Don't get stuck with unshelved shelves. Buy Shelf Shelves today and do your shelf a favor. Oh, Janice, how do you keep your skin looking so youthful? Well, I'll let you in on my secret if you promise to keep it under your hat. This is not my real face. It's a mask! Forever Young Baby Disguise is perfect for those who long for those wrinkle-free days of youth. And it's so simple. Just a color photo of a baby's face blown up and printed on 100% recycled cardboard. Simply apply the mask with tape and voila, you have a baby face. <laughs> and here I thought you were just naturally youthful. No! And it's so much cheaper than Sandery! Here, try one! Wow! I can already tell that people are looking at me differently. Thanks to Forever Young Baby Disguise, I can hold my head up high.